Hi, my name is Jake D'Onofrio, and I'm an editor, colorist, and VFX supervisor. I'm originally from a small town in Rhode Island, and growing up in a small community hindered me in certain ways. I used to suffer from severe anxiety disorder, which was something that I thought I would never grow out of. When I got to Chicago and I got a whole new sense of a different community, it really inspired me to overcome my anxiety. I love being able to teach others how to get through situations in life and also take those negative things that they went through and turn it into positive through their art and especially in filmmaking. My first film experience here in Chicago was when I started a production company with my roommate and we were able to create this company based off of making music videos. It taught us the value of creating short forms and being able to tell a story in a matter of four minutes, which then led into my first narrative film, May God Forgive. Look, Avery, please. Avery! Think of your son. Don't abandon your family. What you know about family? I had one once. I know plenty about it. May God Forgive is about a man who seeks redemption for questionable choices that he's made in his past. Working on this film taught me the value of an editor-director collaboration and lifelong relationship because when I was working on this film, I made friends that I know that I'll have for the rest of my life. Stay Here is an independent film that revolves around a young boy who struggles to survive in an abandoned wasteland while growing up in a dysfunctional family. You will do as you're told. So while I was creating these visual effects, a PA that was just starting off at school was sitting behind me and he said, hey, I'm not really sure what I want to do here. Can I sit and watch what you're doing? And I said, oh yeah, absolutely. So I started to create this whole atmosphere of what we were going for. And I turned around and looked at him and his face lit up and he said, I want to thank you because you've inspired me to want to take on the path of post-production. And to me, that was the best part of that film. I was able to take someone and inspire them to do something else. And that was success.